Hello, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to set up your Class Echo device with SPAD Next. SPAD Next is the software that allows Class Echo to talk to the simulator. It can assign controls and actions to many different devices, and Class Echo is just one of those devices. SPAD uses profiles that you can switch between in order to have different switch assignments and logical flows for each of your simulator aircraft. Okay, let's get started by navigating to the Profiles tab. It's the second icon down on the left-hand menu bar. To use Class Echo with SPAD, you must create one profile per airframe that you want to fly. You then assign the correct aircraft to this profile and usually any liveries or variations that exist for it. For this demonstration, we will be making a profile of the Cessna 172 with the G1000 avionics suite. Start by clicking the Create Empty Profile button on the right-hand side and enter the name of the profile you want to create. In this case, we just use the aircraft name. Press OK. We want to make sure that the profile is active so that we assign the right class echo controls to the right profile. You can see the currently active profile in the top status bar, and you can also see the red SPAD airplane beside the profile name that is active. It's time to assign some aircraft to this profile. You can either start the simulator and load the aircraft and a pop-up should appear asking you to assign the aircraft to a profile, or you can press the Aircraft Assignments button on the right-hand side. In the Aircraft Assignments dialog, we can sort aircraft by type, manufacturer, or publisher. In this case, let's sort by manufacturer, and I'm going to scroll down to Textron Aviation, who manufactures the Cessna 172, and I'm going to select the Cessna 172 Skyhawk G1000 category. You can see that there are three variations of the Cessna Skyhawk G1000, one with landing gear, one with floats, and one with skis. We're going to assign all three of these to the profile by highlighting them and then pressing the right-hand arrow to put them in the assigned aircraft column. Then press Save. Now that we have created and activated our profile, we can assign a device snippet to the Class Echo. Head over to the Panels tab. It's the third tab from the top in the left-hand menu bar. The Panels tab shows you all the panel style accessories that you have set up with SPAD Next. Select the Class Echo device that you would like to program. If Class Echo is connected properly, you should be presented with the generic Class Echo UI in SPAD. Select any of the UI elements by clicking on them. That will allow the Online Snippets button in the bottom right hand corner to be pressed. To see the full catalog of snippets available for Class Echo, make sure that only for current aircraft is unchecked on the upper left-hand side. In the Online Snippets browser, you'll see all sorts of device snippets for the Class Echo. Any device snippet that you can see that's named Class Echo dash aircraft name is what's called a complete device snippet that will have all the control bindings for every control for that aircraft set up in that device snippet. Any device snippet that you see from the author ShakePrint is a curated device snippet that's supposed to do the job for that airplane. However, you'll also see device snippets from other authors and other users since Class Echo is now completely customizable. We have users producing device snippets for airplanes that ShakePrint hasn't already. We have users improving ShakePrint device snippets. And we also have users producing device snippets for other platforms such as Xplane and Xplane 12. If you are interested in producing or publishing snippets for Class Echo, please check out the shakeprint.com documentation on publishing standards for snippets so that we can maintain a coherent and beautiful snippet library. Okay, let's load the Cessna 172 G1000 device snippet by double-clicking on it. You'll get a message that says, do you want to replace all events and pages defined for this device? Press yes. At this point, you should start seeing some things happen on your Class Echo, and you can start clicking around and exploring the profile. You should always press Save on the left-hand side to make sure that your profile changes are saved. Repeat these steps for every airframe that you are flying in the simulator. After your profiles are set up and all your aircraft are assigned, SPAD Next will automatically switch between profiles when you change aircraft in the simulator, so you won't always have to be going back to the program to do reconfiguration. Happy flying, everybody! 
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please contact us. Go to shakeprint.com slash contact or join our wonderful and vibrant Discord community where you can get real-time answers and support. Thanks very much.